What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy Doyle back with another video, man. This is going to be a different video. Um, this is going to be a reaction. This I might not even upload this if this video is trash. I don't even know. I'm just trying something different, you know. Um, shout out to my bro that sent me this. Um, shout out to Nigeria, bro. You know what I'm saying? A foreigner. Cool dude. You know who you are. He sent me this. He was like, man, can you check out this dude for me? I'm thinking about buying his course, and I just don't know, bro. So can you check out this video? So he sent me this link, and I'm like, fuck it. I'll make a reaction to it. Fuck it. So, um, yeah. Let's just see what he about, man. Before he opened his mouth, this guy gotta be a marketer. Like, he didn't even have to say much for me. Like, he just seemed like a marketer. I ain't gonna lie. Like, who does that? Just show a bag of money with two laptops. That's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? He already trying to sell you a dream already off the rip. So it's like, that's a super red flag for me. Now, we're only 30 seconds in this video. Now, I don't know if I'm going to make it through this video just off the strength that he's, like, super flashy. Like, ain't nothing wrong with flexing. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But you haven't said a word and you're showing money. That's a problem. You see, I always wanted to be rich as hell. I always wanted to be successful. I always wanted to live in a huge ass mansion with four bedrooms, a sauna, a private pool, a Lamborghini parked right outside. And, you know basically lived the dream at 23 years old. And most of all, having $1 million around just like this. Let's be honest, it's all about the money, right? Bro, why you send me this, bro? Meditator tripping, but but bro, why you send me this, bro? You know what I'm saying? Why you send me this? You probably wanted me to get like start raging or some shit. You probably wanted me to be mad as fuck. This is not good, bro. This is why Forrest get a bad name. This is why people be like, oh, you trade Forrest? Oh, you doing that scamming shit? Oh, pff. I ain't about to. I'm not about to do that with your ass. Cause people like this, bro. Now. I don't know if he trade for real or not, but just off of this, bro. It's two sides of people in, in the forest industry. It's people that actually trade that wants to sell you some good information. And then there's people that want to sell you a lifestyle. Most people want to sell you a lifestyle of the hopes that you can be a part of that. You know what I'm saying? Like. We don't know what they do outside of trade. They could be into real estate. They can have multiple businesses. They already have money. And then they get into Forex. And you think that you're going to be like them. When you only got one stream of income. This is tough, bro. I, okay, let's just keep going. Look at this nigga. Bro, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I 
I spent about $14,000 on this gold watch, another $6,000 on this suit, another $9,000 on this watch, and another $16,000 on my last vacation. Being broke and seeing my parents really pissed me off, so I said I'm gonna go out there and really make a lot of money. Millions of dollars was the goal. And you know, three years later, look at me now, top of the world. By the way, mum, if you're watching this, I really hope you enjoy the new mansion that's coming your way very soon. Every I'm getting a headache watching this shit. I'm getting a fucking headache. Do they do this in the stock market? Do they got like people like this in the stock market? Because it just seemed like Forex is childish. It's like, this shit is just childish. When you hear about the stock market, you, you think of sophisticated niggas in suit and ties. When you hear about Forex, you think about young motherfuckers trying to sell you something. That's what, like, that's the identifier in Forex. Young motherfuckers trying to sell you something. Forex, I mean, stock market, sophisticated, older men. That's what I think of. That's my identifier in the stock market. We out here looking bad. Like, bad as fuck. Okay? This man haven't showed now one type of, like, no, he didn't have to show anything but these two laptops and his bag of money. That could be prop money for all I know. I ain't going. I ain't going, bro. That could be an Airbnb for all. Like, dog, like. This is just so terrible. This is just so terrible, like. And before I even clicked on this video, this, this video had like 400 likes and 400 dislikes. People ain't going for this, bro. So for, for, for the bro that see me this, talking about you have to invest in this shit, you better not do this shit. I'm telling you, don't do it. That's coming from me. Don't do this, bro. I like I don't even have to go through the whole video to know he's not really trading, bro. Most of the scammers are selling a lifestyle. If you don't see no charts, if you don't see no setups, if you're not analyzing pairs and stuff, he's not a real trader, bro. You don't have to live like this. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't. You can do whatever you want to do. But I'm saying it's a trader out there that have millions of dollars that's living a minimalist lifestyle. He's a regular person with money. They don't. You don't have to be flashy. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. If you want to be like this, go ahead. But to try to sell something like this, come on, bro. People going to be like, I don't know about this nigga. Take off them glasses type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me see your face, bro. Who are you? I'm, I'm getting irritated. Every single day, I make money right here from my phone and my laptop. I make more money than I could ever imagine. In fact, some days I can make up to $10,000 in a few hours with just a little bit of extra work. Some days more, some days, you know, less. But one thing I'm proud of is I got rich. I got so damn rich i promised myself i would get rich many years ago but i didn't think it's gonna be this quick like i said and one of the main never trust motherfuckers that smoke squares man i'm sorry for people that smoke squares i don't trust you you know what i'm saying i don't trust you bro now that's a lot of people out there that smoke squares i don't trust a lot of people so he still haven't shown his face is he gonna take off his glasses on this video because what the fuck Main things is, I'm getting richer every single day, and so are thousands of my students. I'm about to create more millionaires than students? I could ever imagine. And I swear to God, if you don't join FXLifestyle.com, you're gonna be regretting, just like you lost one million dollars. And I promise you, I'm about to change tens of thousands of my students' lives, and I already have. But I'm about to create more millionaires than I could ever imagine. Okay. I'm going to try to make it through the end of this video. There was no damn way I would work a 9 to 5 job. I would never in my life slave for anyone all day long. Real how nigga the hell could I ever be happy when I see others cruising in private jets and spending millions of dollars on a mansion while I'm working in a supermarket? It just doesn't make sense. That lifestyle shouldn't be for anyone. And believe me, you're much better than that. You could be living like this, private mansion, 
private pool, $6,000 suit, $14,000 Rolex. This could be you if you work hard. 23 years old, dropped out at 17, drinking champagne, living a dream. And that's the lifestyle you could be living. I'm not gonna make it to the end of this video. If you say something, if you say some more nonsense, I'm clicking off so this So how shit. the hell is a young kid like me making all this type of money? How the hell am I sleeping in a six million dollar mansion with a private pool? It's simple, I got rich from this thing right here. My phone and my laptop made me more money than ever, to be honest. I trade Forex and help people all over the world make huge profits through their phone and their laptops, all with my millionaire forex course and forex signals. I actually teach people the exact methods that changed my life. The question that you're probably thinking is, could I live in a mansion and make money like this? The simple answer? Man, I'm done, done listening to this nigga, man. I'm getting irritated as fuck, bro. Don't invest into this nigga. Don't do it, bro. I'm just, I'm just done with this video, bro. Like, why did you send me this, bro? You knew I was gonna be tight as fuck. That's why I'm like, oh, like, what the fuck is he talking about? Like, fxlifestyle.com. Look at the name. Like, the fuck? Bro, I don't, I don't have nothing to say on this video, bro. Like, I'm just tired of the forest industry. That's why I don't fuck with people like that, for real. Like, I have people, like, been hitting me up to do shit. I'm not doing shit, bro. I'm not doing shit with you, bro. If you watch, I'm not doing shit with you, bro. I'm staying to myself, bro. I'm not, I'm not going, bro. I'm not going. It's people like this that ruin the entire industry, bro. I swear to God. Somebody probably put some money into this nigga and lost everything. Everything. I, what was that? Um, This past weekend, my sister showed me a video of some marketer talking about some she's going to flip $5 to 1000 I guarantee I can help you do that. If you was on my Instagram, you saw that story, bro. This industry is full of scams. I'm, I'm sick of it, bro. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. It's it's like a small percentage of people that really want to help you. That's probably that's probably the the number one reason why a lot of people fell in for it is because they don't have the right mentor. You run into motherfuckers like this selling you a lifestyle. See the Lambos, you see all this shit. Like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get into that. Oh, shit, if he's driving that, you gotta know what he's doing. You don't know what he's doing outside of Forex. You don't know that. They don't tell you that you need to invest that money instead of just constantly trading that. They don't tell you that. They don't tell you that you need to take those profits and, and get into something else so you won't be stressing into trades. Yes, you can be a full-time trader, but if you got multiple streams of income, you're going to be less attached to that trade. They don't tell you that. They want you to be, oh, I'm only trading Forex money, and that's the only income you got. Like, this, I'm just irritated, bro. I ain't going to lie. For my Nigerian bro, please don't do this shit, bro. And I understand, like, you like, man, this is the lifestyle I want to live. Everybody want to live like this. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I don't want no big ass mansion. It's just me. I might get like a dog or something. I, I don't need this big ass house. But he's selling you a dream, bro. I don't even have, like, I don't have to go through this whole video to know that this man is not really doing what he's saying he's doing. He probably have money, but it ain't coming from this. Ain't no way. Join your course with no with, with two charts on the laptop and a pile of prop money. I, I'm good, bro. I'm I'm good. But that's all I got on this video, bro. Don't send me no, bro. If y'all want me to send a, a if y'all want me to react to a video, please don't let it be no bullshit like this, bro. I'm not doing this shit again, bro. I'm not doing it. That's all I got, bro. I, I'm gone.